hope that this project will be a journey that will allow students to become ambassadors of the countries, the heritages, and the families that they represent, and that they bring temporarily to Kansas Wesleyan to share with us. That is part of the power of the pack. <laughs> I don't know who, who can relate to me, but for me, going into college was something that seemed impossible. None of my role models, um, none of my siblings went to college. I was the very first one, the youngest and the first one. So growing up, it just felt impossible to me. I didn't, I didn't see anyone that looked like me going to college, so I didn't even try. But four years later, I um, got my my bachelor's degree and now I'm working on my master's degree. I'm getting my degree and not a lot can say that. Um, I moved from Los Angeles, California. My parents are from El Salvador, so they weren't given the opportunity to get an education, um, let alone in the medical field. In 2003, I moved to the United States. Before I left, my dad shared with me some words of wisdom that have followed me to this day. He said that the challenges were gonna be many of moving to a different country with, with a different culture, a different faith, different language, different friends, different family. But my dad said that it would also be an opportunity to be an ambassador to my country. Just think about your parents, the, the face that your parents have when you tell them you wanna to go to college, you wanna have a degree, you wanna be somebody in life. I think for me personally, that was everything. At the end of the day, we always find a way to make it happen especially with my family there. They have always found a way in order for me to try to get to college. Just think out of all your uncles, your parents, how far they've came and where they're at now. Just imagine where you could be um, if you continue with your education, if you continue to work hard where your children will be in the future. Coming here was a big culture shock for me because I was looked as different, but building the relationships that I have now, it made me a bigger person and it just, reminds me of how proud I am of my culture and that I should never be ashamed of where I come from. I'm excited to see um, how my family is going to react to me continuing being a Hispanic and going to college um, and making them proud. Because nowadays people are struggling to get into the United States and most of uh, immigrants come here to make a better future for the family and themselves. You know, there's people here that, that really do care about you. Myself, being able to relate to, to the guys. I'm Hispanic myself. I come from California. Um, I've, had, I've had my own struggles, you know, having to work two jobs while being a student athlete. You know, it's tough, but, but you know, nothing, nothing worth having comes easy. Just like with my family and cousins, to let them know that they can go out here and they can achieve this dream, even if it feels impossible, they have the opportunity to, to see through me that they can do this as well. I have a three-year-old son, Juanito, and I hope that he grow he grows up similar to how I was taught. So that's you know being bilingual at a young age and not forgetting where you come from and uh, hard work and keeping your family close. You know, I know all Hispanics or Latinos carry those values and from a young age we're, we're taught that. So I hope that he follows that. It requires a lot of work and a lot of patience, but I think it's one of the reasons why I do what I do at Kansas Wesleyan. It's not just for me, for the opportunity of sharing with others what Mexico is, what my heritage and my culture are. But now that I'm working with other Hispanic and Latin American students, my job is to empower the students to find that voice where they themselves can be ambassadors for those incredible heritages and cultures that they or their families represent. My father is Mexican and my mom, my mom is Honduran. So you could just, like, everyone thinks that when you hear Hispanic, you, you think of Mexicans, but it's like a complete different ball game. <laughs> what makes me proud of being Hispanic is just our culture. Some of my favorite traditions from Mexico would be Dia de los Muertos because all the family gets together to celebrate the dead and our ancestors. Our food, 
our dance, our music. You know, the faces you get when you tell somebody that you're Hispanic or where you're from, the faces you get back, it's everything. The culture we bring into everybody is easy to learn and easy to teach to other people. Making tamales with the family, make it a day, and just make tamales for eight hours straight. Dia de los Reyes, the Three Kings Day, which is basically when like the kings come and they gift Jesus. So you put your shoes in front of the door and then they give you candy. It's just like that. Anything that gets the family together, uh, which is almost any accomplishment or event, I love getting together with the family. We have such a large group. There's always room for one more on our table, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we have a barbecue, everybody, everybody is gonna be invited. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you believe, doesn't matter where you come from, doesn't matter if we met you today, everybody's welcome. This project and this message would not be complete if we didn't include words of encouragement and wisdom for the next generation. Nothing is too big. You know, reach out there and do whatever you want to do because it's your life and you know you deserve to be successful. Fight on to keep going. Don't let nobody to hold you back because at the end of the day the only person that's holding you back is yourself. And working hard is in our blood and it will always be in our blood. Just always keep pushing. Um, I never imagined myself becoming a nurse. Don't give up. Don't give up because it will be very beneficial in your guys' lives. Who they are and where they came from matters. They are important and they will find an important way to make a difference in the world. This message is from this pack to your pack wherever you are, not just in Kansas Wesleyan or in Kansas. We have two things that we say commonly here, si se puede and somos familia, which means yes, you can do it and we are family. Our culture, it's one thing. We're fighters, we're motivated, we want to be around people, we want to solve problems, we get up early, we go to sleep late, because we're passionate. The only person that could be standing in your way is you. Don't forget about where you come from, but don't let it hold you down. Um, it shouldn't matter what your background is um, or where you started. All that matters is where you finish. So keep pushing through and you're gonna get there, I promise. Somos familia. Somos familia. Somos familia. We are coyotes. 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 We are coyotes.